courtesy of RA regarding London's O2 Academy Brixton um, fight to reopen and they've won it so they've now been able to reopen and the funny thing about it is that this is the biggest example you need of the you know the double standards or the rules for different sort of venues and institutions many a clubs in london have closed for far less reasons than two people unfortunately passing away due to like kind of basically over tick you know selling over the amount of tickets that you actually have available in terms of allocation inside or maybe from ticket outs i don't know but or just from just poor crowd management on the outside and security and shit but essentially, two people lost their lives trying to um, attend a concert there. I think it's for a, a Shaka concert. And you would imagine something like that would result in a club losing its license and not be able to open at all. But obviously, the O2 Academy Brixton is probably tied to Live Nation. It's probably tied to a record label and all this murky, backwards, dubious, sketchy, dodgy industry stuff that's allowed it to essentially be able to push back and be able to reopen because if this happened to any other independent nightclub or venue that you know in london or in the uk there's not a chance it would reopen not even a chance so this definitely shows you the double standards that exist in the uk and uh you know the selective sort of shutting down of clubs based on who's actually behind them and whose money whose pockets are getting kind of lined and shit it's really unfortunate to be fair don't get me wrong i wouldn't have wanted to close because it's an iconic london venue but i just think if this was an independent venue there's not a chance in hell this would reopen if fucking paper dress vintage which is a horrible kind of comparison because you know it's not the same capacity or whatever but still it's a cool little spot here in hackney but if Paper Dress Vintage had to had the same incident, there's no chance it would reopen. It'd be closed from then on. It'd basically be RIP to Paper Dress Vintage, just kind of move on. But they've been able to kind of move back again, which just says everything about what's going on. So let's read the article. It says, Historic London Venue. O2 Brixton will reopen soon after several months of closure. The decision is to reinstate the venue's license was made at a review hearing at Lambeth Town Hall on September 11th and 12th. The venue can reopen only once. It has met 77 new conditions designed to promote staff and public safety. Lambeth Councillor David Mohamed Hashi shared a statement on the decision. Here's part of it. Stronger doors, new crowd management systems, more detailed risk assessments, a new ticketing system, a new centralised control and command centre, as well as a new security and management of the venue, were among the measures approved, so proposed by AMG, at the hearing to support their aim to regain full venue's licence so it can reopen and making sure we never have a tragedy again like the one in December 2022. So basically, everybody in there is going to get fired, which is a big move. And, I, you, know, I was, you know, it's probably unfair to the people that didn't do anything wrong. But hey, it kind of is what it is. And then they're going to install a whole complete different process to get people in and out of that place. So I'm wondering how they, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. Will they rip off the original doors? Like, I wonder what they're going to do to make that work. Um, AMG will now need to put in place agreed measures to enable the reopening of its much loved venue, which is part of the Brixton's cultural heritage and has been enjoyed by millions. We'll be working to closely monitor all licensing conditions to ensure that the safety of the forefront of the venue's future operations. So, obviously, the reopening, um, like I said before, it is. Um, not a surprise considering their links and politically industry wise that they were going to reopen they were never going to re be at any risk of closing because of the money involved because of the people involved but again it just shows you how dodgy the nightlife or entertainment scene is here in london when it comes to venues and what says open what doesn't stay open because it really doesn't make any sense but hey congrats to them i guess and rip to the victims that's the first thing